Hey YouTube, did you know that under certain conditions glass is actually a conductor? Most of the time glass is a pretty good insulator, that's why you find it in a lot of electronic applications, such as the envelopes of light bulbs or high voltage standoffs. But as you heat glass up and it nears the molten state, it will actually become conductive. Here I have two light bulbs wired in series. That means if I remove one, they both go out. By replacing one light bulb with a light bulb which I have removed all the filament and the glass bulb from, I now have a broken part in the circuit. By turning the power back on and increasing the temperature of the glass in between uh, what's left of those two electrodes, the glass will become conductive and current will begin to flow again through the circuit. If you put a conductive object into a microwave, like a spoon or a fork, it'll sometimes shoot sparks, but for the most part it just gets incredibly hot. That's because it's acting as a microwave antenna. It's absorbing the thousands or so watts of microwave energy that's bouncing around inside the microwave and turning them into heat as all the molecules shake around inside that metal fork. Normally glass doesn't interact very much with microwaves, but if you heat up a small spot of it to a dull red, you can actually cause it to conduct those microwaves, absorb them, and uh, cause the glass to heat up even more. This is one of Bill Beatty's classic unwise microwave oven experiments, and I hope it's a little easier to understand why this happens now that you've seen the previous light bulb experiment. There you can see the glass is continuing to heat up as it absorbs those microwaves and begins to conduct more and more electricity inside itself. The glass has now made a liquid closed loop as it formed a hole, picking up more microwaves and continuing to heat itself. I can't open the oven right away because some parts of the glass are very hot and other parts are relatively cool. As the glass begins to cool it will build up stresses and sometimes it explodes. After a few minutes, once I know the glass is completely cool, I'll be able to take it out and uh, we can have a good look at how much glass is melted just by absorbing the microwaves from this microwave oven. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.